Hello, there are too many serious issues I would like to discuss with you, religious, uh, of course, political and philosophical issues. But today I will be sharing with you something I experienced uh, yesterday afternoon and until uh, close to midnight, I suffered greatly. Uh, <clears throat> I cried and, uh, well, crying was uh, the result of allergies and my eye, especially right eye, was hurting terribly and like uh, needles were poked in. Uh, here is uh, the sh story shortly. Uh, we have two houses, my house and uh, two years ago we got a house for Yahya. There's a program called Kitty Condo. You can put just 3.5% uh, of the value of the house as a down payment and you can get a house. And uh, since the prices are so low and it was on sale, beautiful house. We did a little bit of renovation. Now it is there. My son is staying there, and there are two tenants there too, uh, who are just uh, who rent uh, uh, each of them uh, one room. Um, well, the issue is about uh, monsoon season. We have uh, a lot of weeds now growing in our front yards and backyard, multiplied by two, four <laughs> of them. And um, we usually. Uh, twice or three times a year, uh, we hire uh, <clears throat> some people, landscape people, to come to prune the trees and uh, pull out the weeds and clean up the yards. But this summer I had some financial issues. Uh, it is hopefully temporary. And uh, therefore, uh, I didn't have extra money to really hire someone. Therefore, I needed to do it on my own since my kids are... Uh, <laughs> spoiled in America. Uh, I didn't ex ask them. I thought also good for me to do that. Well, uh, the <clears throat> the landscape people, they offered uh, when they work, they said they could do the job instead of half a day or one day, they could just uh, spray um, insect, uh, not insecticide, herbicide, basically poison. And um, no, I didn't accept it. I say, I will pay you more, but not doing that, knowing uh, the ramification and the danger, the damage it does to the uh, environment, especially in Tucson, we get water from the groundwater and this poison, some of it will seep into the ground. It just doesn't make sense. Therefore, well, now since uh, I wanted to save a few hundred dollars, I wanted to Pluck it this Sunday, yesterday, and my wife uh, prepared. She always she prepares these logistics. Uh, she uh, prepared cold water, ice in it, uh, and also she found a hat for me because still it was sunny. It was August 26, but Tucson is still hot. And uh, I start pulling the weeds. While pulling the weeds, I feel guilty too. I kind of went billion, million, not billion, million years before. Well, I was uh, relative with this. Uh, we started life according to the Quran as uh, plants, and uh, there is a uh, evolution. And uh, I am part of this. In fact, both of us comes from Earth. We share the same material from the Earth, and I share a lot of genetic material with this um, weed, which I am discriminating against. And uh, I feel kind of guilty to kill them. In fact, it was a kind of massacre, genocide. I was pulling them from the root one by one. I was not discriminating against baby weeds or big weeds. Um, it is strange why we don't, we have some kind of negative view of these uh, indigenous population of this land before 1986 when this uh, complex was built, when they put, uh, uh, before they put the concrete on the ground, these weeds were growing freely here, enjoying life. But what happened? We invaded their land, we put concrete, we killed many of them, and now they are trying to kind of find place on pebbles and here and there in a very hostile environment, and they try to survive. And incredibly, they survive better than the ones somehow we favor. We go favor few of the weeds. There we don't call them weeds, we want to discriminate. 
terrorists are heroes. Our killers are heroes, but their killers are terrorists. We don't say both of them are killers, murderers. Somehow each nation, each group of people, unfortunately, glorify their murderers. And here it is. We have also discriminating somehow against some plants. We call them weed. We call them flower. We pay for the flower. And interestingly, we put them in a um, in pots or um, in front of the yard. We get special soil for that. We pay for that. We work hard to plant them. Some of them die even before <laughs> showing their faces. And then we water them every day. We worry. We care about them. But they hardly grow like them. They are not as resilient as this God-planted natural indigenous population. And what happens, these poor ones, we forget about give, giving them vitamins and uh, fertile soil. We don't purchase them. We don't uh, water them. We don't care about them. In fact, when we look at them, we frown at them. Despite that, they grow, they flourish. They just want to survive. They want to cover the ugly uh, face of the concre uh, concrete, now well, pebbles and uh, the and they want to cover the brown color of the soil with beautiful green and meanwhile they want to produce also oxygen for us and we go kill them well i had this trepidation and dilemma and but i had to pull unfortunately i said because here it is we have a neighborhood association this housing association they keep sending us the only thing they do we pay them not much money really but imagine 300 houses each of us pay 20 25 dollars per month what they do with that all they do they send us <laughs> letters well you have some weeds in front of yard and you need to clean up within one week or so they take the picture they spend money on stamp on managing this kind of supposedly <laughs> what sending mail they could send it through email too but they don't use it they have to use uh, certain excuses that where they spend the money anyway we received that anyway i had to clean up meanwhile while clean that up in fact most part was this uh, section belonged to the neighbor it was between uh, yaya's house garage and the neighbor's home in fact it was on the neighbor's side well i extended my kind of energy and time I wanted to help the neighbor too though I don't know the neighbor's name in fact I was thinking to go after that clean up other neighbors front yard just as a charity the neighbors that I don't know even their names once a while while they're entering garage within fraction of a second we may say hi bye that's all anyway that's um I tried and pull one by one meanwhile I'm going back million years ago these are my the grand grand grandchildren of my cousins which i separated my ways through mutation god forgive me i really ask god forgiveness once uh, half jokingly i wanted to establish an association defending the rights of plants um, i have a fancy name for that now it doesn't come to my mind anyway my wife i started calling me Edip, it has been more than half an hour you are under the sun come in that's enough well, I am a kind of meticulous guy. I'm obsessive compulsive. I wanted to finish up. As I said, <laughs> I was going to do the neighbors. Anyway, I was kind of tired and came home and I feel my eyes getting itchy and stuff, itchy and scratchy. Um, I went, uh, took shower. I know I have allergy, but I didn't know so severe allergy I will have. Anyway, meanwhile, uh, my wife uh, put together uh, some uh, groceries to give uh, the tenants in my Yahya's room. Okay, the timing. I need to start the time again. Okay, let's see. I hope I can it. And then uh, he put together kind of macaroni, egg, uh, orange uh, juice, and some cans. Once a while, we give them food, hot food when we make. We have some more we share with those uh, young people, two of them, two rooms they are renting. It's pretty low rent. We want nice people there, and we are also nice to them. Um, I took there, and when I get in out, I saw Yahya's main yard, not the side one, which I finished, the main yard. Uh, there are some weeds again, baby weeds, uh, they are growing. Well, already I supposedly I had taken care of it. I spent uh, one or two hours there 
kind of uh, plucking one by one. And uh, I try, uh, I started working there. My wife calls me, says enough, Edip is enough. Well, I tried to finish up that. And then I went home, my God. Just, I don't know, half an hour later, one hour later, maybe shorter time. My eyes started kind of crying, all the tears coming from my eyes. I know it is severe allergy. I took the allergy medication even the second time, despite once per day, I got the second one this time. And it is not itchy scratchy anymore. It is like nail inside my eyes, very red. Ah, gosh, the whole, I started walking around with pain as if I am in prison, in prison, you, but no, you don't need to be in pain. We used to walk because we don't have any place, but uh, vertically go and then come back, go forward and come back. And then my wife sees this and she, what she knows, she knows something that if she puts a, applies a tea on my eyes, it will be okay. Though I don't believe that. Maybe it's a little effect. Anyway, she got it. And then despite my protest, she put the tea on my eyes. And my son trying to concentrate on tort, the subject he was studying. He's just started the law school <laughs> studying tort. I, once in a while, I also help him, we discuss the issues, and I have <laughs> no interest right at that time. I am the one under torture. And then he, he wanted to help. He, he brought his um, eye drop, somehow he had eye drop that helps eye to be, feel better, uh, maybe for dry eyes. He brought it and uh, he said it's hot. He put the freezer for a few minutes and then brought out a plate. A little bit better, but the whole night until midnight, I suffered greatly. Now, I wonder what happened. What is the thing? Or, uh, what was the reason? What was the lesson I should get? I put together in Turkish here. Let me share with you and finish up this one. Um, whether this was a punishment, this um, terrible allergy, which is painful eyes, was a punishment for me committing uh, genocide or massacre against the wheat, whether it was because of uh, discrimination against the ind indigenous population, or was it because I felt that I am relatives to these weeds? Maybe it was a bad thought. God didn't want me to feel that I am uh, relatives with them. I don't know. Or maybe because I knew that I have allergy against them, I defied God's law, and then I went with ignorance, and I basically deserved the consequences. Or did I need to put a mask, a special mask, before doing that? Or did I too much care about the environment? I just should have got some herbicide and just poisoned them to death. Or um, I was too good to think about helping my neighbors who did not care about me. In fact, they wouldn't even uh, clean up their side. Or uh, did I make mistake by following uh, the invitation of my wife, go work this weekend. Or uh, I did not pay attention to his warning. I did not come earlier. Maybe I pulled one of the weeds, different kind of, few different kind of weeds. One of them was the one maybe caused. Well, ultimately, maybe I would do that. Anyway, or... Um, Maybe I did a mistake by not hiring these people whose career profession is uh, basically landscape and their, their family depend on it. Maybe I deprive them from this work and it is not my personal expertise. Maybe I infringe I, um, on their <laughs> rights. I don't know. <laughs> or maybe something entirely different crime or a mistake or sin I committed, this was a punishment, or this or that, I don't know. Well, I deal with philosophical, complex philosophical issues, political issues, but this weed confused me. I don't know what lesson I should get, but I have at least one lesson. Perhaps it is a good thing. No touching the weeds anymore. Thanks.